All right, technical difficulties. Thank you for staying with us. Uh, we hope you guys didn't hear us well. Um, Dr. Rupesh Preet, just like last week, uh, medical oncologist and practice president here at Comprehensive Cancer Center. So, so we appreciate you guys staying with us for the technical difficulty. I'm sure we'll get it fixed uh, in the near future for the next one, for sure. Um, so as always, um, we wanted to start a medical uh, Monday series uh, to talk about some important questions that all of you may have and create some various topics and concerns that patients may have or their families may have in regards to their cancer care, as well as just some general questions as a whole. So uh, today I wanted to discuss uh, some of the new regulations that went into place by Governor Sisolak amongst this new COVID environment that we have. Um, and uh, most importantly, how these changes may affect you or your treatment, uh, especially when you're coming into one of our offices. Um, as always, we have a few questions that were already called in. Um, so we will go ahead and get started with those and then we'll have some time hopefully left over uh, for questions, certainly. So, right now. So, um, in regards to the first question, um, we're now in the phase one of the recovery plan. Um, so what can patients uh, expect uh, when visiting their doctor? Um, at comprehensive cancer centers? Um, well, we've put a variety of uh, things into place, certainly, to help patients and their families feel more comfortable. Um, and, um, sorry, I was just making sure that uh, people can see us. Um, we've put a variety of things uh, and uh, places and, and processes in place so patients feel comfortable, certainly. Um, each one of our patients and the visitors go through a thorough screening process, which is a series of questions that we ask if they've traveled out of state, if they've had any exposure to COVID patients, certainly if they've been outside into the public, if they have symptoms of cough, fever, or any symptoms as a whole. So we do put them through a very thorough screening process. Um, it is challenging a little bit. We, we sometimes you know, are asked, why don't we do temperature checks? And the honest opinion is because our patients are on chemotherapy. And it's challenging to judge proper temperatures in those patients. So we don't want to discount those patients, certainly. Um, so, but we are putting other processes in check in regards to the screening, uh, every patient that's screened, certainly. The other thing that we're also doing is we're restricting visitors, as I said last week, to our chemo areas and our radiation treatment areas. So that'll be really uh, good as well in terms of preventing the amount of people that are actually in our clinics at the same time. Um, we're also providing every mask, uh, every patient and their family member with a mask if they don't have one. We certainly encourage you to bring yours in, but if you don't have one, we'll provide you one at the door so that there's a safe environment for the patients uh, and whoever is around locally. Uh, we're also requiring that all staff wear masks. So um, when the staff wear masks, there's two-way protection uh, from the patient to the staff members and the providers, as well as uh, the reverse. So that's also being placed, uh, and, and we just started doing that based on some of the regulations that were put in place last week, certainly. So, um, The governor also stated that uh, most uh, non-essential uh, businesses or essential businesses uh, require a face mask. And as I said, we, we started to do that. Um, our staff has uh, taken that into heart. Um, not everyone will have a mask for various reasons. If you have a medical condition, for example, where the mask may prohibit your breathing ability um, or, or something to that extent, then we'll certainly excuse those patients uh, from wearing a mask. But every staff member should have a mask and every patient should have a mask. And every visitor that comes in through the door will have a mask. So it's very important we know that. Uh, masks are just one of the things that we're doing. We also have hand sanitizers everywhere uh, that we sit in our common patient areas at the check-in, everyone that's a hand sanitizer is squirt uh, to also help as well. Um, and in between each patient, we're using the Clorox wipes uh, that are uh, being cleaned, each room that's thoroughly cleaned. So wherever the patient has been sitting down uh, or even you know standing or waiting uh, that area that's cleaned. Um, our lobbies are been limited to every other seat to try and maximize that six feet rule. It's hard in a small medical office, but we are doing our best to try and make patients feel more comfortable, certainly. So, um, in regards to, you know, about continuation of treatment and if you see anything suspicious, certainly. Um, if you've been rescheduled for your appointments, uh, those appointments are now starting to become open again with the providers. So either by telehealth, uh, which we do offer, 
or coming into the office in person, uh, contact your provider. We always say, please talk to your provider if you're certainly worried about your treatment, about delaying your treatment. If it's a simple treatment for osteoporosis, uh, certainly that can be delayed another uh, few weeks if you're more comfortable doing that. But then that decision should be made with the provider. Uh, and our offices are open 100% to try and help those needs. Um, but all those patients over the last six weeks that we've rescheduled, uh, we encourage you to start calling because there's going to be a little bit of backfill in trying to get everyone in at the same time. So we want to make sure that everyone that's seen appropriately, they're tested, done appropriately. The radiology centers are also open, so we're now starting to do screening exams as well. Um, in regards to our research capability, research uh, remains uh, in full force. Uh, CCCN participates in 150 to 170 trials uh, every year, and our research team is certainly uh, available so the patients get the most up-to-date care um, in regards to their treatment plan. Um, we don't have any restrictions in our office other than the visitor policy in terms of bringing people in. Uh, we are still restricting non-essential visitors, i.e. drug reps, uh, vendors, etc., cetera, uh, that do not belong in our office. We're still not letting those uh, uh, people into our offices to try and make it as safe as possible. Um, in regards to you know questions, concerns, uh, please reach out to us, we're available. Uh, I'll, I think we have a few minutes left. Um, if somebody has a question or that pops up, we can certainly try and answer those right now. Um, in the future, uh, we're gonna fix the technical difficulties, of course. Uh, but I also encourage you to post on our website um, questions that you may have, concerns that you may have, other topics that you wanna discuss besides COVID. Um, certainly we can help answer those pertaining to cancer care, obviously. Um, as well as your appointments and uh, other things. We want to try and make this as general as possible. So no specific questions on treatment, of course, those will need to be addressed by the providers uh, that you're being taken care of by. Um, so I'll leave it at that. Uh, I'll wait a couple minutes, see if you have any questions and uh, we'll go from there. So thank you. I appreciate you guys. Uh, thank, and we, we thank our staff. We, we thank our um, patients for hanging with us through this tough time. And uh, as we are going through the multiple phases of opening, more traffic is going to be out there. So we continue to encourage uh, safe practices. Please, please wear a mask if you're outside. Uh, please do hand hygiene and try and avoid large gatherings, certainly. So, so. I'm talking about touching face. Yeah. So one question that uh, came up was uh, about touching faces. Um, obviously, hand-to-face contact is a form of spread. It's how most viruses are spread. So if you are wearing a mask, please try not to touch your mask after you put it on. Uh, if you do have to touch it, try and use only the strings attached to it to try and take it on and off. Because if you do touch your mask, it actually contaminates that mask and um, it doesn't do you any good, it doesn't do us any good. Um, so in terms of touching faces, uh, certainly uh, we don't encourage that uh, at this time, uh, especially if you're wearing a mask. And keeping your appointment. Yeah, so another question that just came through was about keeping your appointments. Um, we, we encourage you to keep your appointments right now. Uh, CCCN is operating at 100% right now. Um, all of our clinics are open. Your provider may call you and convert that appointment to a telehealth visit. If you're not comfortable coming in, please call your provider's office and see if you can be seen via telehealth. But if you, if you definitely have a treatment schedule, please keep that appointment. Um, certainly, uh, so or talk to your provider to see if it can be delayed. Uh, at this time, we're not uh, canceling any more appointments like we did for the last six weeks. We are starting to open up because we do realize that all those patients that were uh, rescheduled or canceled because of the pandemic will need to start coming back in, and it's going to create a little bad lot. So, we want to stay open as much as possible. Um, but again, the appointment may be converted to a telehealth depending on your provider, certainly. So. Uh, question came in, and what are the specific symptoms should you look for before you <clears throat> panic? The difference between COVID and a cold. Okay, so a good question came in. Uh, so specific symptoms uh, between COVID and a common cold. So common cold is the flu. COVID is a version of the flu, uh, just more serious and deadly. But some specific symptoms are a dry cough, a fever certainly. Uh, a wet cough usually indicates probably something more flu-like, but a dry cough is certainly more like COVID-like. And then more recently, symptoms such as loss of taste or smell, 
um, diarrhea has been there, fatigue has been there, um, things that don't go away after two or three days. Flu usually resolves in a couple of days. Um, the flu season's towards its late uh, stages as is, but COVID is in the midst of being certainly very active at this time. So uh, if you have any of those symptoms before you come to the office, please call to make sure that you're gonna be allowed through the front door to make sure that you get screened properly. Uh, but those are some of the things that you should look for uh, is uh, dry cough, uh, fever, uh, loss of taste or smell, diarrhea, uh, fatigue. So. Uh, someone wanted to know also in comparison to allergies. So, in, so another good question came in. A uh, uh, patient of ours is asking, what's the difference between COVID and allergies? Allergies are usually things like runny eyes or, you know, a runny nose um, and itchiness uh, certainly can happen. Um, those usually don't happen with COVID. Um, certainly, it's again, we're learning these symptoms as they come, but those are usually not signs of COVID. So if you've known, if you've known to have allergies in the past, and you have runny eyes or you know red eyes or watery eyes or runny nose, um, that's usually probably your allergies acting up rather than COVID. But again, certainly if you have any questions before you come to the office, call the office and make sure that uh, the nurse will talk to you and you get a little pre-screen so uh, it won't waste your time at the door if you, if you do get turned away, so. Okay, that's it. No other questions have come in. All right, so no other questions have come in. Um, we certainly thank you. Please, please understand our technical difficulties today. Uh, we appreciate you guys. Um, please send us topics that you'd like us to cover in the future. Um, we'll try and do some non-COVID topics as well if patients have questions but in the, the general sense that applies to everyone. Certainly, we're, we're here to help. CCCN is open, Comprehensive is open. All of our offices are open. Our breath surgeons are operating again. Um, so if you do have a mass lung you know, surgery that needs to be done, please call the office and get that scheduled right away. Um, as uh, things begin to open up, um, it's gonna be a little tricky getting everyone in at the same time. We'll try and maintain the social distancing guidelines and we'll continue to look out for your safety as well as our safety, certainly. Um, thank you very much, uh, and uh, we'll see you next Monday. So. Oh, precautions to take during travel and shopping. You want to answer that one? Oh, okay. So one last question came in that we'll answer. I think it's a good question. Uh, it says, precaution to take when shopping and traveling. So right now for travel, uh, Governor Sisolat still has his 14-day quarantine. If you travel out of the state and come back to the state, technically you're supposed to be quarantined for 14 days. Um, now, there are some exceptions to that rule. Certainly, if you go somewhere for medical reasons, um, there's going to be exceptions to that rule. But at this time, if you don't have to travel, we're encouraging everyone to stay home. Um, there are still hot spots out there, um, and we certainly want to make sure that you're protected and your family's protected. In regards to precautions for shopping, uh, obviously minimize your uh, outdoor uh, crowded spaces areas. Um, most stores that are open now have safe distancing guidelines in place. Um, I would strongly encourage that everyone wear a mask, certainly while shopping. Carry hand sanitizer around um, because, you know, wherever you touch, there's a potential of exposure. And make sure you don't touch your hand to your mouth or your face, especially after you put the mask on. That's actually going to get the most... Uh, spread uh, in terms of risk. So we want to make sure you don't touch your hands to your face when that happens. Um, all right, no other questions are coming in. So I think, like I said, we'll see you guys next uh, Monday. Uh, thank you for sticking with us. We appreciate it. Uh, Comprehensive appreciates you guys. Um, thank you very much. Take care.